Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we have breaking news coming out of Brussels, Belgium. A car bomb. Uh, Brussels, there's a shooting. Uh, and cops have opened fire on a driver who was shouting. He had explosives in the car in a chase through the jihadi hotbed district of Molenbeek. The army uh, bomb disposal teams are scouring through the... Uh, um, the car, the uh, open fire, officers open fire for a drama- very dramatic high-speed chase, which ended when the uh, car collided with parked cars. Uh, this bomb disposal robot then was sent in to search through the backseat of the car that drove into the police car. And so the robot then lifts a blanket from the back seat. The driver claimed the car was filled with explosives. A bomb disposal officers then carefully lift the items from the car involved in this dramatic high-speed chase through Brussels, Belgium. And uh, they said, we got the driver out, and he immediately told us that there was explosives inside his car, a police spokesman said. Uh, the man was arrested. He was not injured. The broadcasters then said the suspect's uh, car was registered in Germany. Army bomb disposal teams have been sent in working uh, to, and trying to get through the car, but they didn't find any explosives like he said were there, okay? But this high-speed chase through Belgium in one of the districts, the no-go zone is what they call a jihadi hotbed, but basically, folks, just like London, uh, just in Brussels, uh, parts of uh, Paris, no-go zones. This is becoming more... It's becoming more and more and more the norm in these European cities. And um, it's actually worldwide. It's, it's taking place among the Western nations. There's more and more of this taking place. Well, anyway, nobody was shot. Nobody got killed. No explosives in the car. But the driver has been arrested. Shots fired. Police firing back at him. Uh, very tense and very uh, nerve-wracking uh, afternoon in Brussels, Belgium. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy, but certainly the earth is going to be filled with violence. That's one of the things the Bible said would happen. Are you serious? Yes, we're going to have these kind of things. But hey, you know what? Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, Jesus said, believe also in me. All right, for my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. So what Christ is saying is, look, this is going to become the norm of the end times. But you've got a better place to go if you have Christ. I'll be back with more in just a moment. Don't miss tonight's broadcast. I will be live tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern on Primetime Live. We'll get you caught up on all of today's current world events and where we're at in biblical prophecy.